in 1978, a gritty action film hit the screens, starring a classic Hollywood actor whose prowess left audiences on the edge of their seats. The driver, as he's simply known, takes you on a high-octane ride through the streets of Los Angeles. No frills, no fancy dialogue, just pure adrenaline. As you dive into this cinematic gym, you'll discover a narrative that's both thrilling and intriguing. The characters, including a classic Hollywood actor you're sure to have a favorite, weave a tale filled with funny, shocking, and even sad moments. Keep your eyes peeled. There's more than meets the eye in this urban escapade. Who stood out for you among the classic Hollywood cast? Was it the suave leading man or the enigmatic antagonist? Share your thoughts as you watch, because we've got plenty more anecdotes and revelations lined up. Engage with us and let us know your favorite moments funny, shocking, or sad. Now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic journey? Drop your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your connection to the driver adds another layer to the tapestry of this timeless classic. Stay tuned for more facts, twists, and revelations about the driver. The road ahead is filled with surprises, and we can't wait to explore them with you. So grab your popcorn, settle in, and enjoy the ride. The Driver, released in 1978, emerges as a noteworthy crime drama within the late 70s cinematic landscape. Directed by Walter Hill, the film stands out for its compelling chase sequences, solid performances, and an engaging script. Hill's directorial approach, characterized by a lack of stylistic flair, but a straightforward narrative effectively serves the story. Ryan O'Neill delivers a commendable performance as the unnamed driver, relying on his good looks and natural intelligence to bring depth to a character with minimal dialogue. O'Neill's strength lies in his ability to convey emotions through unspoken moments, contributing significantly to the film's impact. However, Bruce Dern's portrayal of a police detective, while at times effective, occasionally veers into the realm of overacting. Dern's attempts to add layers to his character with exaggerated expressions may have benefited from a more restrained pace directed by Hill. Isabella Ajani, playing the role of the mysterious woman, delivers a strong performance, particularly in a memorable scene with Bruce Dern at her hotel. Her natural and focused approach to the character avoids falling into cliches, enhancing the overall quality of the film. The film's score, composed by Michael Small, deserves special mention for its effectiveness. The inclusion of odd fusion jazz elements adds a unique dimension to the soundtrack, capturing the audience's attention and complementing the on-screen action seamlessly. A noteworthy connection arises with James Sallies' novel Drive, released later, exploring similar thematic territories albeit with a distinct stylistic approach. The film's influence on Sallies' work raises intriguing questions about the intersection of storytelling in different mediums. In summary, The Driver stands as a plain yet powerful crime drama with strong performances and well-executed chase sequences. Despite some hiccups in character portrayal, the film's simplicity, bolstered by a compelling score, makes it a worthwhile watch for fans of the genre. The Driver, a 1978 film directed by Walter Hill, left an indelible mark on cinematic history, inspiring the creation of the 1999 movie Driver and its subsequent sequels. Despite rumors of a longer director's cut, it has been vehemently denied by Hill, dispelling it as an urban myth. The US DVD includes a studio-mandated introductory sequence to clarify characters, but this edition was omitted from theatrical prints. Intriguingly, Torchy's Bar, a recurring setting in Hill's films, makes appearances in both The Driver and other classics like 48 HRS and Streets of Fire. Tara King, playing Frizzy, further connects it to 48 HRS adding a layer of continuity to Hill's cinematic universe. Released at the close of the 70s, the movie stands as a no-frills crime drama distinguished by engaging chase sequences and solid performances. Ryan O'Neill, portraying the unnamed driver, relies on his looks and natural intelligence, delivering a compelling performance with minimal dialogue. Bruce Dern's portrayal of a police detective occasionally leans into overacting, and while effective at times, a more restrained approach could have enhanced the character's depth. Isabella Ajani, in the role of the mysterious woman, contributes a strong and focused performance, avoiding cliches and elevating the overall quality of the film. The soundtrack, crafted by Michael Small, deserves special mention for its fusion jazz elements that seamlessly enhance the on-screen action. 
Notably, James Sallies' later novel, Drive, echoes thematic elements explored in the film, raising thought-provoking questions about storytelling across different mediums. Despite minor hiccups and character portrayal, it emerges as a powerful yet plain crime drama, making it a worthwhile watch for genre enthusiasts. The influence of this gritty 78 classic on subsequent films and its place in Walter Hill's cinematic universe solidify its status as a timeless piece in the world of crime dramas. Strap in, because the road ahead promises more surprises and revelations for those willing to take this high-octane journey. In the late 70s, this cinematic gem rolled onto the scene, originally intended for Steve McQueen, who opted out due to a weariness of car-centric roles. Walter Hill, drawing on his experience as an assistant director in Bullet and the Thomas Crown Affair, crafted the script, later seeking approval from veteran director Raoul Walsh, who found it to his liking. The enigmatic titular character, portrayed by Ryan O'Neill, keeps dialogue to a minimum merely 350 words throughout the film. O'Neill's performance relies on his natural intelligence and looks, allowing the unspoken moments to convey the depth of his character effectively. The movie's influence extended beyond the screen. Torchy's Bar, a recurring setting in Hill's films, links it to other classics like 48 HRS and Streets of Fire, creating a subtle thread in Hill's cinematic universe. Tyra King's appearance as Frizzy adds another layer of continuity, connecting it to 48 HRS. Bruce Dern, as a police detective, occasionally tiptoes into overacting, though effective at times. Isabella Ajani, portraying the mysterious woman, contributes a strong and focused performance, steering clear of cliches and elevating the overall quality of the film. Michael Small's score, featuring fusion jazz elements, stands out for seamlessly enhancing on-screen action. Notably, James Sallies' novel Drive echoes thematic elements explored in the film, prompting thought-provoking considerations about storytelling across different mediums. In conclusion, directed by Walter Hill, this no-frills crime drama transcends its label. With strong performances, engaging chase sequences, and a compelling soundtrack, the movie remains a timeless piece in the world of gritty 70s classics, leaving an enduring mark on subsequent films. Released in 1978, The Driver made its mark on cinematic history, influencing notable films that followed. Edgar Wright's Baby Driver pays homage to director Walter Hill by featuring the release date as an inmate number, a subtle nod that showcases the enduring impact of the film on subsequent works. Isabella Janney's involvement in the project stems from her admiration for Hill's earlier work, Hard Times. Her decision to join the cast adds a layer of appreciation to Hill's ability to attract talent based on his directorial prowess. The movie's influence extends to Drive, where thematic echoes resonate with James Sallies' novel. The exploration of similar territories in storytelling across different mediums underscores its enduring relevance and impact on the crime drama genre. Walter Hill's directorial style, characterized by a lack of stylistic flair, but a straightforward narrative, laid the foundation for a gritty crime drama. The main character, portrayed by Ryan O'Neill, relies on minimal dialogue, merely 350 words throughout, allowing unspoken moments to convey the depth of his character effectively. While Bruce Dern's portrayal of a police detective occasionally borders on overacting, Isabella Janney's focused and nuanced performance as the mysterious woman adds a captivating dimension to the narrative. The soundtrack, crafted by Michael Small and featuring fusion jazz elements, seamlessly enhances the on-screen action, contributing to its overall impact. Torchy's Bar, a recurring setting in Hill's films, creates a subtle thread connecting it to other classics like 48 HRS and Streets of Fire. Tara King's appearance as Frizzy adds continuity, further enriching Hill's cinematic universe. In summary, this plain yet powerful crime drama transcends its era, leaving an indelible mark on subsequent films. Its influence on storytelling in both film and literature solidifies its status as a timeless piece in the world of gritty 70s classics, proving that Walter Hill's directorial prowess extends far beyond the realms of conventional cinema.